Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Natalie Rides from and on the line is Stuart from tips to hq.com and we're taking a look at Syria futures ahead of the uh, new season kickoff. Uh, obviously, Juve are the favourites here, 1.6 888 uh, sport. Uh, obviously, last season, so the first half, they sort of um, they sort of stumbled. They, they, they weren't performing well, but they brought it back in the second half um, and won their fifth consecutive title. Um, are you expecting them to win their sixth consecutive title? Yeah, I am. You look at Italy at the moment, there's an awful lot of happening, a lot of things changing in terms of the transfer markets. Mm. And I think Juventus have been pretty clever in the transfer market as well. They've weakened one of their main competitors quite sincere, quite seriously. Mm -hmm, that's right. And I was reading your article and you sort of you said that, you know, Juventus has been clever. Uh, do you want to sort of sum that up for us? Well, I mean, it's one of these things we've seen in the Premiership before. You have clubs who, who start to look like they're doing quite well and then the bigger clubs come in and and cherry pick their best players. Um, for instance, if we look at Liverpool and Southampton, Liverpool have managed to buy every single player that has ever scored for Southampton against Liverpool since Southampton were uh, once again promoted back to the Premier League. So mm -hmm. you know, we've seen that kind of thing before and we'll see it again. Well, one of the teams that has been uh, really busy is Roma and they are actually second there uh, to win Serie A, seven with William Hill. They kind of look like quite a sort of a, you know, obviously it's not a really a long shot bet, but it certainly has a bit of value, that seven. Do you think Roma has done enough uh, to clinch the Serie A title this year? I think we need to wait and see what's happening at, at Juventus is the main thing. I mean, Avaro Morata's gone. Um, Real Madrid have activated that buyback clause and he'll probably end up in the Premier League or somewhere where people are willing to spend big money for him. Um, and I think it's going to be a case of who are they going to bring in to replace him. Now, Roma have spent a lot of money. Um, they had a lot of money come in, of course, uh, from Miralem Pjanic when he got sold. But they've, they've spent a lot of money, brought in a lot of players and some very, very good attacking players as well. So they could make things a little bit more difficult for for Juventus. I, I just can't see them t tipping it over the line, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Well, Napoli came in uh, second uh, behind Juve last year, um, but they've only done, I believe, one side. They've made, made one signing to date. Have they done enough? Do you think to even sort of like warrant a top four position? Not right now. They made one signing as central defender. You know. I love a good defence, but that's not really going to swing things enough for you. Mm -hmm. Actually, and just going back as well to Roma, there, um, they've definitely they've definitely sort of strengthened their attack. Could they sort of be? Could you bet on maybe sort of highest scoring team being Roma? Could that be an option? Yeah, it's something to look at. It depends how those players click. I mean, you know, if Jerson starts out really, really well, and I think he's going to be the key to this. If he starts really well, then maybe you want to get on them for title winners. Um, certainly, high scoring team is a definite option. Now, obviously, and when, what we were talking about with Napoli, you know, with with just the one signing here, top three finish does hold, hold some value. If obviously you don't back Napoli, Napoli's the third favourite. It's got Juve 1.03, Roma 1.25, and then Napoli 1.5. But maybe we should look to teams maybe like Inter Milan or AC Milan that come in 1.85 and 2.75 respectively. Yeah, Inter Milan were the ones I was thinking of when you said that. I have to yeah. say, I mean they they got taken over last year. There's been a you know a big bump in their finances. AC Milan as well. They've had a big takeover. How much money is going to be available to them is, is the main question. They haven't really done a lot in the transfer market so far. But uh, if we see during the summer some big moves, then maybe we could see that too. All right. So that's what I'm going to take. My bet for now, Inter Milan there to top three finish, 1.85. Uh, what's your bet? Uh, well, I'm just going to go straight, nice and simple, Juventus to win the league. Yeah. As, as you said, fairly low odds and uh, normally low, lower than I would normally go for. But, but I'm happy to take that because I think it's money in the bank. Yeah, 1.688 Sport, not a bad bet at all. That was Stuart from tipsterhq.com. Stuart, thank you for joining us. Always on the go? Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today and don't let your busy life keep you out of the game.